So on and off of keto, why don't you just stay in ketosis? Uh, <laughs> my favorite topic here. So just a little backstory for me. I, I, I've been primarily in ketosis the majority of my adult life. So I'm 46 this year, so I'm not a young, 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 uh, young chicken anymore. And I have some wisdom and perspective on this. Um, I can also tell you that being in ketosis is really important um, for people's long-term health. And people go, well, is it, maybe you don't think it's for everybody, or maybe you think you shouldn't be in ketosis all the time. Well, science and history will tell you otherwise. Um, our ancestors have been in ketosis nearly all of our existence. Prior to the last 100 years, we didn't consume a lot of carbohydrates or excessive amount, and we were more excessive amount of food or processed food. We grew, woke up in ketosis very, very often every single day. Um, and then you go back, you know, three, 4,000 years ago, it was just very much a normal part of our everyday life to be at, at a high level ketones in our system the majority of the year. So nothing about it is new um, at all. Uh, it's been studied over the last 100 years. A lot of reasons why people get on and off of keto is because it's just restrictive. It's hard. It's hard to maintain. And the challenge is for me is that most people come nowadays, you know, 100 years ago, 75 years ago, 50 years ago, people went to ketogenic diet for treatment for their health problems. Um, very effective for a lot of challenging health situations. So there's a lot of positives to it, but they didn't do it for weight loss. But now it's people want it for weight loss. And the reality is it's really good for weight loss. The problem is the diet's really hard to do and maintain. And a lot of people are emotionally and psychologically attached to food. So therefore they keep reverting back to their old lifestyle. And if you go on keto and you lose some weight and you go back to your old lifestyle, you're going to gain it back. There isn't, that. that's not the recipe. The recipe is you have to actually learn how to change your previous lifestyle to a new one. And that takes time, takes practice, it takes toughness, it takes willingness, uh, determination, um, tools, uh, which I'll talk about some things that uh, that can make it easier to go through that journey, and which we, which which is why we've helped so many people um, nowadays. And so, a lot or people stop keto or they get on and off because they think they got the result, and then they go back to it and they go, "Wow, I felt so much better." But then it's like you're climbing a mountain again because getting started on keto takes three to five days to even get in ketosis for most people. Some people up to six weeks it takes six months to really dial the diet in so that you feel good while you're doing it. And that's tough for people to maintain. So for somebody that's done the diet for the majority of my adult life, after 15 years of being primarily in ketosis, I mean, I'd fall on here and there. I'd stumble. I made a lot of mistakes. I was like, I was sick of it. I was like, can I just do a good diet, a, a healthy diet? Now, I think a ketogenic diet is a good healthy diet if done properly and well formulated. But I wanted to have a little flexibility. I wanted, I was, we had our first baby and I'm like, I want to go and have ice cream and not feel like I just wrecked everything. And not get me wrong, I'm going to have a little ice cream. I'm not a big sweet guy after 15 years of no, 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 no sugar and carbs. I don't really dig it anymore. It's, I've learned a whole new lifestyle, but I do want that flexibility. So what I did is I now drink ketones. And what that does is it gives me the ability to have flexibility so I can stay in ketosis, not be perfect, and then find my diet that I want to live my life with, find that journey and, and, and maintain this quality of life that I want. And I'll tell you, I'm 46. I think I already said that. Um, most people my age don't look like they look a lot older than I do. And, and I, I, I believe it has to do with ketones. It has to do with this lifestyle I'm choosing. I eat less carbs and sugars. Do I, am I perfect? No. Do I drink my ketones when I am a little bit less perfect? Yes. I drink more when I'm, 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 I'm on vacation or on holiday because it protects me from going into that rabbit hole of going back to eating that stuff. Um, and then when I'm dialed into my diet, I use my ketones to keep my levels at a good therapeutic level. And, and, I don't fall off. I don't fall down. Um, I enjoy. And that to me is the secret to creating a whole new lifestyle. And so um, if you're a person that's falling and on and off ketogenic diet, ask yourself, what's your real goal? Is your real goal to lose weight? Um, which should never be anybody's real goal. Uh, your real goal should be, what do you, how do you want to live your life once you lose the weight? Which nobody thinks about and it drives me crazy. Uh, I have more videos about that everywhere. Um, you have to design your life of what you want your life to be and know that it's not, it can't be the way it used to be. It has to become a different life for you to, to live that way. And, and, and it can, it can it's going to look different for everybody. And so sometimes people start the kid junk diet and they're super rigid, strict. They lose a bunch of weight. And then they're like, I can never do this forever. So they give up on it forever. Well, no, that's not the way it should be done. You should just move closer to being in that healthy and reward yourself for being happy that you made those big positive changes. Now maintain it. Lose 30 pounds, now maintain it for two months. Create a new life there. 
and then go make another run at some more weight. That, that, that's way more effective way of doing it. And I know people don't want to do it that way. They'd rather find the hard struggles. Too many people want to climb a mountain, fall down the mountain, and then try to climb it again. And eventually, you'd never climb it again. You never even try. Now, what I want you to do is climb a mountain halfway, find out what it's like to enjoy that halfway up the mountain so that next time you do the next climb, it's easier to the top. And then you go to the t you go halfway again and you go, okay, wow, I can live here for a while. This is great. And then next thing you know, you go, you go halfway again or you go to the top and you're like, I can live like this. And it's maybe not perfect, but it was, it, it's a perfect plan to have results long term. So y'all, if you're falling on and off the wagon, get tools, get support, be around the right team, the right community and have the right products. Um, Obviously, this is what I do. This is what I, this is how I make my living, uh, is I get, I get people in ketosis and then I coach the heck out of them and teach them how to live a better life and not judge them for not being perfect because we're not, none of us are perfect and we're all just striving to become the best version of ourselves. And that's all I can ask for. So y'all, if you need help, need support, reach back out to me and let me take care of you uh, or let one of our teammates, whoever you're working with, take care of you and just commit to the journey, um, and get ketones in your system. Cheers.